Hey there, so just a really quick video edit here. This is not a quick video, my bad. I just wanted to go over how to get some decent high stat armor. So I've got a bunch of friends that have come back to the game recently and their armor sucks. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about that. So as you can see here, my armor is not terrible. I've got 100 uh, resilience, 102 discipline, 92 recovery, pretty decent. Uh, if you're new or returning like them, you've probably got a bunch of 40s, 50s, 60s, nothing crazy. And obviously the higher you can pump the stats up to the tier of 10 here, the better you get for cooldowns. So go to, sorry, go over to your inventory here and in your engram tracker, you've probably got a ton of engrams just sitting around you're not doing anything with. So notably the ones on the bottom there. So those are the seasonal engrams. I've got wish engrams, witches, deep engrams, defiant engrams, etc. And we're gonna wanna spend those to get some armor. So we're gonna fly to the helm here to spend them. And I'll show you where you can spend them and how you can do that. So while we load in here, two things to note. First, go into your ghost. And in this third slot here, you're going to want to put a discipline armor mod. This guarantees you get a minimum of 10 in discipline, but it also guarantees another cool thing. So armor when it's dropped comes in two spikes, right? You got one spike in the top here, these top three, one spike in the bottom. By using a discipline spike down here, we guarantee we're going to get the other spike up in the top probably gonna boot me out of the screen yeah so we guarantee we get the other spike in the top in the top here of these three stats especially for a warlock here two of these are really desirable so by forcing the other stat up here I've got a two and three chance of getting what I want here alternatively if instead of this discipline mod I was to maybe use a resilience mod it would throw the other spike down to the bottom here out of these ones, Discipline, Intellect, and Strength, the only one I care about, the only one most characters care about, is Discipline. So this means I only have a 1 in 3 chance of hitting that Discipline. You understand what I'm saying? 2 out of 3 up here, better odds. 1 out of 3, worse odds. Just just trust me here, use a Discipline mod, it'll throw the other spike up top. So, you can probably hear my keyboard, I apologize for that. I'm going to go and head to Riven here. Alright, so in here we're going to go to Focusing, Wish Engram Decoding, and on the second tab here we're going to look at all of the armor. So you can buy any piece of armor specifically, or you can just roll random armor. Uh, randomly it just costs one engram. If you want to grab specific ones it costs two, it's not a huge deal, you're probably swimming in these by now, so just get whatever. So I'm just going to buy a couple helmets here, and a couple gloves. So as you can see, this one here, 64 stats. It gave me that discipline spike, and the other spike it gave was in resilience. This one here again, I got that discipline spike, and it threw the other stats up top. This one's pretty crazy. Unfortunately, it's mobility. Oh, I would have loved a discipline and literally anything else. So that's, I lost that, that RNG, but that's, that's what you want to see on a lot of armor, those two really big spikes. Unfortunately, I got a mobility spike, not what I want. So that's garbage. The gloves here. Again, there's a discipline spike, it gave a lot of mobility, I didn't want mobility, bleh. This one's okay, discipline spike, nice resilience spike, and I got a decent amount of recovery too, so that's okay. And then we've got discipline and resilience here as well, so that one's not terrible. So there's a way you can min-max here, there's people that can hit triple 100 stats, there's a way you can get triple, uh, sorry, quadruple 100 stats, which is crazy. Basically just keep throwing armor, th sorry, throwing engrams out here to get as much armor as possible. And you can do this from any of the seasonal vendors. So in the helm here, there's the uh, the war table here for the first season, season of Defiant. There's the season of the deep one, and then season of the witch down below. So you can do this with all those engrams. One thing to note, if you can't focus armor here, um, as what happened to one of my friends here, you need to go into your seasonal challenges. So go into your season of the wish stuff here. Um, and on the second tab here, seasonal bonuses, first one here is going to be wishful armor focusing so it just requires that you at least have all of these pieces drop once for you so you can just get them from pretty much doing anything just go and run the coil a whole bunch or just come to Riven and just dump the wish engrams here and yeah see just gave me a piece of armor there there's another piece of armor you can keep doing that until you've got all the armor pieces unlocked and then you can just focus them one thing to note notice I got that chest piece 54 stats. Garbage. Not good. So this is probably what most of the armor you get um, just dropped is like low stats like this. That's why focusing these is so huge. So 
The second thing we're going to do here is go to a website called d2armorpicker.com and what this is going to do is it, um, it's going to look at all of the armor you've got and it's going to try to come up with the best combination of stats for you so you don't have to sit here and try to plug away and figure all that out for yourself because it's mind-numbing. So you're just going to go to the site, log in with your Bungie account, it's totally safe, 100% you're not going to get your account taken away or some dude's going to hack your account. It goes through the API. 100% safe. You're good. Trust. So at the top here, I'm going to pick my Warlock. And I think it's got, yeah, so it's got my Osmiancy Gloves. So you can pick whatever exotic you want that you've got. So we're going to do Osmiancy Gloves. Down here, we're going to go to Stasis. Pick your subclass. And I'm going to put in my Whisper of Chains that I have. And you can put whatever, whatever fragments you're running. Just make sure to plug this in here because they do affect your stats. And then we're going to go to the top here and pick. If you have a way for it to get you to triple 100, right down here, select three times T10 builds, it'll give you triple 100. Unfortunately, I cannot hit triple 100 with this, so we're gonna play with the stats here. So I want 100 resilience, I'm gonna click on that, and I'm able to get 100 and some other things. So now I want 100 discipline, let's do that. Okay, and it looks like I can't quite hit 100 recovery here, so we're gonna do 90 recovery. And on the right side here, this is all of the combinations of all the armor pieces I've got that will give me these stats here, right? Let's just do strength and whatever. Let's just plug the rest of this in for fun. So these are the two sets with this. And we're just gonna open this up, show details. It'll show you what pieces it is. Boom, boom. One thing to note, you're gonna want these armor pieces masterworked um, to get the most benefit from the stats. Masterworking your armor gives you tons of extra stats, so make sure they're masterworked. By default, I have this set up to just assume everything is masterworked. There's an option down here too. Yeah, here it is. Assume all legendary items are masterworked. So uh, it's just, you know, some of these aren't masterworked. It's fine. I'll just masterwork them after. If you need masterwork materials, I suggest you run the coil a whole bunch because it's great for loot. Anyways, this will tell me what mods I need in here. So I need three of these, two of these, etc. The cool thing about this is it lets you automatically equip these items. So I'm going to hit equip items. Click that. And when I go back in the game, it's just automatically throwing this gear on me. So I don't have to sort my vault out and try to figure out which ones it wants me to put on. It just automatically equips them. Now from there, I'm just going to equip the mods, masterwork these pieces, and equip the mods, put in the recovery resilience mods I need to boost my stats to what D2 Armor Picker told me I can hit. It's that easy. So yeah, it's pretty amazing. Obviously this gear, um, super easy to get. So um, you should by no means not have access to this. If you've got Season of the Wish, absolutely you can do this. So I highly recommend it. Super easy to get high stat armor. This isn't the best be all end all armor, obviously. There's Artifice armor, which has an extra slot. Um, my Ghost Bond has it here. It allows you to get plus three in other stats. So in other, another way to min max your stats here, but I mean, 99% of the players, we're just gonna get regular armor like this. It, it does the job. Like, me not having one extra tier of, like, recovery is probably not gonna make or break for me. But overall, high stats. So definitely do this. Definitely recommend checking this out. Um, yeah. Go get some high stat armor. If you found this helpful at all, toss me a like. That would be huge. Maybe subscribe. That'd be another W. But yeah. Hopefully this helps, and you can get out there with some high stat armor and uh, kick some ass. Alright, thanks for watching.